Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. <clears throat> now, I, I want to go ahead and make a real quick video here. Nothing too fancy, nothing on video or anything right now. Um, just wanted to do a real quick video that talks about this leak that's coming about a new Star Fox game on Nintendo Switch. Now, supposedly, this has been in development for some time now. I mean, I've been hearing like, just about every year about a Star Fox game coming. Um, but the report comes in the way of Zippo. There's a prominent... Nintendo Insider and a source that has proven reliable and regible in the past on numerous occasions, especially when it comes to Persona. Now, again, this rumor, along with the Kid Icarus rumor that I'm going to talk about, are all just rumors until we get a direct or a Twitter drop or something, some kind of official announcement for Nintendo. So, this is just fun and speculation right now. But... We all know that that Star Fox has had its issues with being modernized. Like Star Fox Zero, as much as I liked it, could have been a lot better. And they've really been kind of been doing the same thing with Star Fox for a long time now. Like uh, even Star Fox 64 kind of felt like a reboot, and even Star Fox Zero felt like a reboot of the very first game. So outside of uh, Star Fox 2, which only came to the SNES app. And games like um, Star Fox Command on the DS. There haven't, there, there haven't been too many games that have felt like its own thing. Now what I would like to see is another Star Fox Adventures like game that can kind of go back and forth between you going on land and um, like hopping out of the all wing to do some land battle stuff and find some, some shortcuts or some, um, some, some hidden paths that way. But also you're playing in the all wing and the all wing of course still transforms into tanks and various other things like it has in the past. But... Going back to this, it says a new Star Fox game has been in development for quite a while. It's being made at an outside studio with the close supervision of Nintendo. The interesting part is that um, they say that they don't know who's developing it, but they say it's not Platinum Games. Which, if you know, if you don't know who's developing it, how can you say it's definitively not Platinum Games? I don't know, but. It's an attempt to toe the line between a sequel and a reboot. Now, I would want it to be more of a sequel rather than a reboot because, like I've said before, we've had plenty of Star Fox reboots. We've had technically Star Fox 64 and um, even uh, Star Fox Zero was kind of rebooting it a little bit. I would like to, rather than see it be a reboot, see it be a sequel, see it be a game that sort of... I, I don't remember if Assault was because I kind of skipped that game. I kind of skipped the Star Fox games on the GameCube. Um, but I, you know, from what I remember from seeing of the gameplay, it, it seemed like it was a sequel. Um, but I could be wrong about that. Now, Star Fox is another franchise that will play a part in Nintendo's overall multimedia strategy. This is the reason why I think they purchased that animation studio also because suppose there's an animated project of some sort that's early in the works from their new acquired studio that I talked about in a few videos back. So whether this is going to line up with a um, with an animated movie or an animated TV show um, and so it's sort of like the TV show is like I think I, I think this would be interesting is if the TV show is like the reboot. It's basically telling the story, the origins of Star Fox and all that stuff and the game itself is a pseudo sequel was kind of like a Star Fox one and a half, if you will. I don't know if that would work out, um, but I do think that, that would be pretty good. Uh, I've also heard that supposedly um, there is a Kid Icarus game also in the works from Bandai Namco. Um, and whether or not that's truthful, I don't know. Again, we'd have to wait and see. But I think that, again, a new Kid Icarus would be, would be interesting. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll have no problem with Kid Icarus Uprising coming to the Switch. After all, there was a lot of people that may have missed it on the Switch. And to have it have improved controls uh, that use maybe um, uh, two that use two sticks instead of using a touch screen. Or maybe they use the motion controls of the Switch in some way to move, pin around. I think that would work out a lot more. But I would, again, I'd rather just see that be completely revamped as a sequel with improved online. I don't want to see the same online and I don't want to see the same um, 
the same story. But I think it'd be enjoyable either way. I'd still get excited and pumped about it. I just would prefer a sequel, just like I'd prefer a Star Fox sequel or a new game in the series, rather than another reboot. But of course, that's just what I have to say. What do you guys think about this topic? Do you want to see Nintendo do a whole new... I guess it's not really up to Nintendo, even though Nintendo is looking closely supervising this game, it's being made from an outside studio. But do you want to see this game be a uh, reboot of the series? Because it has been some time since we've gotten like a full-blown sequel. Uh, I would rather just see them modernize it and just move forward for a sequel game, or like a one and a half, like I said before. Or do you want to see them do a complete reboot of it? Um, do you want to see Kid Icarus come back as a re as a sort of a, a remaster of the first game? Or do you want to see a sequel of it? Let me know in your, in your thoughts down below. And I'm sorry for the real short video on the fact that I don't have video up. But I just wanted to go ahead and just talk about this while I had the time. And I hope that you guys have yourself a good one. And I will see you next time.